What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. Welcome to week six or the non-existent week of cutting. Um, it's going to be a bit of a vlog as well so you're going to follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me along on today. I'm about to head to the gym. I'm going to go and do back and hamstrings and then I'm coming back. I've got loads of editing to do and then I'm going to go back to the gym later to do cardio and then I'm going to go to Nick and Holly's with Aisha because they're having a cheat meal. Holly's cooking up some food. I'm so excited for it. My back, biceps and hamstrings. At the end of the day, there's no set. There's no, no one said that you had to do back and biceps. No one said that you had to do shoulders and abs. No one had to, do you know what I mean? There's no set way. Every workout you do is better than the workout that didn't happen. So just get it done and be grateful that you can go. Bugger this bro, stop, bro science stuff. So I think I'm gonna have this yellow one for a pre-workout. I might take it, I don't know. And I might like mix it in with some BCAs. Magic box of goodies. I'm going to take the Cymax Indra Hardcore BCAs. They taste amazing. They kick me out of here because I have to pay my band. It's 11 o'clock, so I'm going to make some lunch instead of breakfast. Uh, I'm just frying off some carrots right there for the base of my uh, like veggie mix thing. And I'm going to do some spinach, mushrooms, and pepper, and then tuna and egg white in it and mix it all around, and it'll be bomb. Um, I'm going to have a little discussion with you when I sit down and have lunch about why I am quitting the cut and what I've learned from it, basically, because I've learned some shit from this cut. And, you know, it's been a rough ride, to be honest. And how beautiful does that look? The more colour, the healthier. So post-workout meal, that is a mammoth amount of food, I know. But it's all vegetables, so... So, what has happened with the cut? Basically, I went into the cut with the expect, um, expectation to lose... I wanted to lose five pounds. And at the time that I started the cut, I was very... I felt really well, I felt really up for it, I felt motivated, I felt strong. Um, it was great. First two to three weeks into the cut, I was losing weight. I was losing a pound a week, which was right on target. Uh, and it came to week five, week four, week five, week six. And the scales were going up. I was actually put on, I put on weight for the last three weeks. Um, and I, I, um, I was really confused. I was really down about it. I didn't know what I was doing wrong. My diet was spot on. I was counting everything down to the gram. I was counting every vegetable, every fruit. Everything you can absolutely think of. So... I, I didn't know what, what was going on. So I, I had a few days where I was really down, you know, I, I, to the point where I was like, I was actually crying one day because of it, because it just, it's so frustrating when you are trying to lose weight and when you're counting everything and when you're, you're burning so many calories per day, but you're not losing weight. And um, I got actually got very ill last week um, after my round 14 of treatment between my round 15, 14 and 15 of treatment. I was very ill and I had a, uh, I was a, I wasn't able to go out or do anything. So I just basically sat and researched um, your metabolism, researched all the science behind your metabolism and, and how it varies from person to person. And I've actually, re I've actually come to the realization that I have, I am, my body is under a lot of stress already, and I knew that, I knew that from the beginning. But 
I didn't quite realise how much more it would take out of me to be on a deficit and how much my body would stall. And that's exactly what my body has done, it's stalled. In fact, I have, I have not lost one ounce of fat over the last six weeks. I have gained a lot of muscle. And I can see that in, in you know, my physique. My glutes are growing, my legs are growing because I've started training my legs again since the radiotherapy. Uh, the shape is amazing. And if I could... If I could compare shapes from now to when I was on radiotherapy, they'd be hugely different, and I'm really happy with that. I've also realised when I was doing the research, I'm on I'm on quite low calories overall in general, and then what makes that low is the fact that I go low carb, and what that is doing is it's not helping my immune system at all to fight. What that's doing is it's making me it's making me down, it's making me stressed, it's making me making me really flustered and and whatnot, and it, it's really bugging me, bugging my mind. So I hope I'm I hope this is coming out right, but I can't, I can't tell you what I'm, I, I can't properly say what I'm trying to say, if that makes sense. Basically, at the end of the day, I need to stop this cut, I need to reboot my metabolism, I need to rethink how I'm eating, I need to up my carbs. So the carbs I'm going to go for is back to maintenance level, I'm gradually going to increase from 90 to about 110 to 120 per day. I'm going to keep my protein at 180 to 190 and keep my fat at 40 and below. Okay, so they, I'm going to, edge my carbohydrates up and up and up and up and up and mentally like I've already done it for the last two days and mentally and physically I feel so much better like my workouts are strong my mind is stronger and I'm actually I, I'm happy about my body it's so weird you eat well you're happier about your body whereas when I was on a cut like I was looking depleted one day like I was looking you know more shredded than another day but mentally I was still hugely obese in my head and you know, you get a bit of body dysmorphia in your mind because the carbohydrates are making your endorphins low, which is making you down. Um, so I think right now, learning from round 14 of treatment, I need to just go back to maintenance, go back to really focusing on the shape of my body, the shape of my muscles, um, being strong, and, and just eat well-rounded foods. And that's what I suggest you do if, if you're on a diet. If, if you're on a diet and you find that you're, you know, and you haven't got a time limit... Um, if you find you're stalling and you're really down, you know, really rethink about the carbohydrate levels, really rethink about what you're putting into your body and count the macros up. You know, really, I know everybody's different. Some people go ketogenic, they do go super, super, super low carb, which is fine. If that works for you, that is absolutely fine. But if you're down, if you're grumpy, if you're feeling fatigued, if you're stressed, then really think about that. Because at the end of the day, your mentality is a lot more important than looking shredded day to day, isn't it? Tonight, I am having a cheat meal, so I'm refeeding my body before a really busy week at work and busy week training. Just to make sure I've got that edge on, especially two days after treatment. <laughs> Oh, in your apron. No, no. <laughs> it's really cute. Is it Gav Kidston? No, it's Amazon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute their fan is. Oh, nice sofa. So looking forward to this. Are they food? Yes, a tortilla wrap. Shut up. Have you seen them? No. Look. Wow. It's a tortilla wrap. That is amazing. Oh my god, I just go by how much clothes. I've got this on my foot. Oh, right, thanks. Hi. Can you see what Aisha looks like when she comes around Nick and Holly's? Because you've got my plumbers. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a bin. I remembered everything. Oh, actually, no, I didn't. No, you didn't. Mm. Oh. This is like Mary Berry. Eat your heart out. Wow. I like to think more Nigella than but you know. You know, she turns everything into sex. <laughs> I can't really imagine what? you doing Isn't that, Holly. <laughs> She's like all these front? sexy songs. Well, what? Why open the door? I'm sick too late. Um, stop. You liking that? Yeah, I'm snug as a bug, but you need to go and do the wash up. Holly, tell her to go and wash up. No! Yes, Nick can do it. Oh, right, do you want to sit down? Yeah. Oh. I need to stretch the stomach out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Back to the dark tomorrow. <laughs> Got up one day a week. Yeah. But this always happens. We always have to cheat on on Sunday, and then on Tuesday we go to Costa and get a pizza. So you have two cheats a week. Yeah. Why never cheat? Oh my god, my foot. Basically. Yeah. Why do you have a